One of the best ways to establish our identity is through clothing. In many cultures, we tend to immortalize memories by printing them onto shirts. You are looking at a design by yours truly, and if someone is going to make this idea come alive, it's gonna be my dad. Ink Unlimited saw its humble beginnings when my father came home to the Philippines after 17 years in Saudi Arabia. To be honest, I wasn't the happiest person when I heard about the concept for this. I was like, why not start with a business that people can't live without like a water station or something. I now realize how harmful these mindsets can be. As an advocate for passion-driven work, I would never forgive myself if I will be the reason why someone would give up on their dreams, especially my own father. Dad, if you're watching this, I am so sorry for ever doubting you. Thanks for not giving up on your dreams. Know that I'm always here for you no matter what happens and I love you. Now let's talk about how we are gonna get these amazing designs onto a shirt. Here's a fun fact. I actually created both of these designs using my non-dominant finger. I made them irregular to be reminded that there is beauty in imperfections. Personally, I prefer shirts with minimal prints on them because sweat does accumulate where the printed areas are. Aside from that, black is the warmest color to wear. You are about to witness a printing method called heat transfer which is commonly used for cotton shirts. We started by cropping out the main features from the background and printing them onto a sheet of paper just a regular one, and as you can see, these are still pixelated, and after some improvements, this is what we came up with. These smoother lines is what you would eventually see on the t-shirt itself, and the colors would become more vivid as soon as the heat transfer is completed. After the designs were finalized, we are now going to print it to the heat transfer paper, and I'm actually filming this portion at double the speed because quality printing requires some substantial amount of time. Next is the cutting stage. See that tiny blade over there? Don't be fooled by its size because it strikes with military precision. This is what we use when dealing with irregularly shaped designs, for obvious reasons. Imagine cutting this manually, not only would it be labor intensive, it's also time consuming. For simpler designs, Manual cutting would suffice as long as you have a steady pair of hands. After cutting the designs, we would now peel the back of the heat transfer paper to reveal an adhesive which would not activate until exposed to heat, which is the next step. The last stage is performed using a heat press, which is essentially a huge flat iron. We start by preheating both sides of the shirt, and my dad would actually use this when my little brother is running late for school to iron out his uniforms. After making sure that the design is in the right place, we use this white, um, I don't know if it's a cloth or a paper, I'm assuming it's a cloth, it's called Teflon, T-E-F-L-O-N, Teflon. We put it over the design so that the heat press would not come in direct contact with the design, and we give it a few wipes, we flatten it out, and we very carefully and gently peel off the Teflon. And this is where the magic happens. I'd like to keep on talking, but this is something that's so satisfying, I just have to shut up. There you go. And that's the PSN logo, oh my god. Now, time to do the same thing with the other side. Of course, we have to carefully position again the parts. And we do the same thing with the Teflon as soon as they are centered. Do the heat press and you know the drill. So let's just again stay quiet because this just deserves appreciation. Looks like my t-shirt is done. I had the biggest smile the first time I saw this. 
even though the design on the front is smaller compared to the original concept art, I'm not complaining because, again, I tend to be a minimalist when it comes to printed shirts. And using my macro lenses, I'm able to showcase the texture of that finished product. Gorgeous. Feel free to contact Ink Unlimited's Facebook page if you're interested in getting a sticker or a t-shirt yourself. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. And also, if you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.